Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a general reading. I post new readings on Friday and Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. I've also been adding in Wednesday bonus readings here and there. If you are interested in those, the best way to see them is either to hit the like button or even drop an emoji in the comments. I will be having a special reading are you lucky during St. Patrick's Day week for both money and love? All right, let's get going here. What advice do you have for Taurus, please? What does Taurus need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Taurus? Messages for Taurus, please. All right, we will lay out the tarot. I've already shuffled the Sacred Destiny Oracle cards here so we can just cut and take a card. See how this relates? The card of simplicity. We'll talk about that in a moment, but isn't that pretty? Simplicity. Let's see what the tarot wants to tell you. The Knight of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the ace, uh, I don't know why I almost said ace, the fool, the queen of cups, and the seven of pentacles. You've got a nice uh, energy with uh, money going on here. you got love too, but what I feel like when I got that knight of swords, somebody here, I feel like you're going to either, I, what I heard was you're going to get your way, meaning in terms of money. So I do feel like if you have to follow up with something, if you have some kind of an arrangement, I feel like you may pick a different path if it's something like a contractor or even a job. I get it more though on the end of a purchase where you're going to be that Knight of Swords energy and leave a Five of Cups trailing behind you. I just feel like too, this ties into that, not wanting to have complicated transactions. I get it more again with money when we say transaction. Let's hope love relationships aren't transactional in nature, but they sure can be, can't they? So I feel like with that, it's like, look, I, there's other people out there. We're not in a shortage like we were. I'll go somewhere else with my money if you can't figure this out. Oh, that was harsh. But, you know, that's what I get, that kind of energy. It's giving me that. Like, I'll just simplify and go with a straightforward kind of a deal. Now, also with this, if you are inclined to lean out your closets to sell some things, I see somebody pulling out everything out of cabinets and closets, looking and assessing, especially if you think you may have a move coming in. You're looking in the next few years, it may be time to simplify. I also feel like someone here is on a bit of a debt diet, not wanting to just waste money. And it's not that you don't have money coming in, but not wanting to waste money on things you don't need. You have money coming in, no doubt about it, with the three, seven, ten of pentacles. And I also want to tell you with relationships too, I keep hearing deconstructed. Wanting something that's simple, that is very much straightforward. Even though matters of the heart can oftentimes be confusing, right? Because we have people involved, but I like this a whole lot, all right? Do you have this as long-term? This is not just for now, but it sure is nice with the Ace of Cups, the Fool, and that Ten of Pentacles ready to jump in, ready to be yourself, not having to put on errors. Again, it, um, with this, I feel like that energy of simplicity goes a long way. Being in relationships that are mature shouldn't be that complicated. It's oftentimes when there's some other issue that's unresolved that it becomes complicated. Or perhaps somebody's not ready. They don't want a relationship or they don't want, and it's nothing personal. They just don't want it. Okay, I get this energy is so much more straightforward. There's nothing, there's no hitches. Nobody's getting a divorce. We're not trying to get rid of an ex or, you know, that was harsh too. What's going on with me? Where is this coming from? Um, but I do feel like with this, it's saying like, let's jump in. We can both are ready, ready to be ready to be ready, as they say in the Abraham Hicks workshop. So this Knight of Swords, I actually, even though you've got this nice earthy energy, which I feel you're going to enjoy, I feel like you're going to be a bit of this. I heard screaming Mimi, but we don't need to raise our voices. You're going to get the job done. If it's an email uh, uh, exchange, it's like this cuts like bad bangs. Okay. Cut you like bad bangs is what they're saying on that. Not quite that straightforward, but 
with this, it really gets right to the heart of the matter. So I feel like too, if the numbers don't add up on something, that you're gonna catch that. This kind of energy though, he steps on the gas. He doesn't want to wait. If you feel like someone is not competent, again, I just don't see you wanting to do business with them. This Knight of Swords says, get out of the way, I'll handle this. So I also feel like too, I heard cut to the chase. I do feel like with this, if it's a money situation, you are gonna move forward. Now, if it's a job, if they didn't deliver what they said they would, I feel like again, you're gonna get down to the, the heart of the matter. And there may be, if it is your current job, I feel like there may be somebody in the mix who's just not quite competent. There's something about them. They seem a bit overwhelmed and frazzled and like they like to do everything at the last minute. So I do feel like they're saying keep good records, keep emails, that sort of thing, so you can follow it up in a bit of a more tactful way than this. But either way, it gets the job done because this is about seeking honesty and nothing will stop you until the truth is revealed. So if something wasn't done, it will get handled. And so with the Ace of Cups here, this is where we soften things. We get back to center. We get back to being divine beings who aren't just human doings taking care of business. This Ace of Cups, though, in a, I feel like the next cycle you're coming into, you're going to tie up all the loose ends and you're going to be light and easy about things. So if you're in a place where you say, yep, I relate to that Knight of Swords. I feel like if I don't follow up on things, it just doesn't get done. Here's where you can start to trust people. You can let your shoulders relax a little bit. You can let your guard down. It's a new opportunity. That's what the Ace of Cups brings in. And it really is your heart's desire, de desires being delivered. That's what this is about. So this Ace of Cups in a relationship too, again, I feel like they're saying it's going to be time to soften some of those edges and be in a place where you can just be with a person. Let go of all the outer noise, all this stuff around you that maybe has to get done, those lists. Or if you're the one with the to-do list and you like to mark things off because it satisfies you greatly. With this, I feel like you may have to leave a couple things on the list, okay? You might have to adapt a bit and say, you know what, I'm going to be a little easier about things. Because when you're in love, life softens. Everything around you, the focus, that's what I hear, the focus softens. So with this Ten of Pentacles, you do have a real partnership, by the way, and you do have money coming in. So if you're owed money or you check up and you find there was a mistake, or again, like we said, you're buying something, I feel like you're going to get a, either a better interest rate or better price. Something about this Ten of Pentacles moves things forward. And I also feel like, too, if it's a move, you may find that you continue to stumble on new areas. Okay, where if you were perhaps thinking about moving to some warm weather state, you might look at the insurance in one state and say, that's getting out of control and people are homeowners are ending up becoming uninsured. I'm going to look at a neighboring state. I'm going to look at Alabama. Never thought about them. You know, that sort of thing where all of a sudden you stumble across something and you say, that looks really idyllic. That looks like it's close enough to what I'm looking for right now without all these hassles because you're into simplicity, Taurus. You're not into complications. So with this Ten of Pentacles, it is the wealth card too. So I feel like you're going to be flush in this next quarter where you're going to see your bank account come up. You're going to see that things seem like, you know, the bills are getting a little bit better managed where if you went through a period where it seemed like every single thing was being increased, you know how that has been where it's like, wow, this is getting expensive. Um, I feel like things are going to get back into the swing. It's Life is such a pendulum, isn't it? Or especially here, our economy moves that way quite a great deal. Well, this Three of Pentacles is going to offer new opportunities for you. So like I said, I feel like with a move, you're going to start to look at a new area or a new area is going to come into your awareness. It could be for a vacation too, but I get it more of a warm weather kind of a, a place. With this, so overall, you're going to find people are easier to get along with. People are open to your ideas. And if there is something that you need to correct, I also feel like you're going to have a new person in the deal who is going to see that and go, oh, my apologies. Especially if you feel like you've been doing a lot of things that haven't been acknowledged. You're picking up the slack for other people and they act like it's somehow they're entitled to it. I feel like people around you are going to say, hey, thanks for doing that. Appreciate that you did that. I also get, too, if somebody works in maintenance, I keep getting that. This feeling of maintenance keeps showing up here. Well, with or even hospitality, something there 
hospitality maintenance. It's like these different teams that all work together. I feel like somebody here has been covering a team that you're not even really, you're a part of it loosely, but it's not like your department. So I mentioned this five of cups. I do feel like you may be apt to create a five of cups around you. Be careful with that because we don't want to have guilt. We don't want to have guilty feelings because somebody gets sad. There's always a way to deliver difficult news, isn't there, where we don't have to quite do it like this as a result. So I feel like the cards, like we know, they give you information. And so they are telling you, soften a little bit that Knight of Swords. And we also don't want that to come back as like a boomerang, like you put something in a work email that was a bit too much. Because with this full energy, you have glee coming in. The full is a transition, it's a change. So if you have been having to persevere more than you'd like to, and you say, this is ridiculous, I have to seem to almost fight to get everything to move, Here's where things move forward a lot easier. And you say, my gosh, the burden has been lifted. My coworker resigned or they're moving them. So I don't have to keep compensating. I feel like you've been compensating for someone. Now in a relationship here, this is where everything comes alive. You have a adventure coming in. You have like a brand new take on things. This is also about trust. It's a new beginning that will have you wanting to jump in with both feet. There's no reservations. Nothing can stop you in that energy. Anything new that you try to do, you're going to find not only does it bring in money, but it brings in what I hear is serenity. That's attractive. So this Queen of Cups may be the person you're attracting. Could be a water sign. You've got quite a bit of earth here, air as well. It's like a water, earth kind of reading, but could be Pis Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio coming in. But with this, it's somebody who accepts you for who you are. And they're very easy to talk to. I feel like you have an immediate connection. Now, if it's your partner right now, if it's your person, again, they do understand you in a deep way. And they may sometimes just kind of let you be you. Okay, there might be things where you say, why didn't you stop me or tell me to tone it down? They just, that's how they are. They accept it and they go, well, I don't know that you would have listened and I figure you'll figure it out. I like them though because they have a supportive energy. And so with this seven of pentacles, your harvest season is now, I'm telling you, you're coming into money. And if it is you, if you do have a lot of stuff that you say, I don't even want to begin on this. It's just too much stuff. Get rid of it because I feel like it'll turn into coins. All right. Simplicity. Let's see here, Taurus. Sometimes the best ideas are the simplest. Good ideas are simple. All right. What else does Taurus need to know, please? Messages, please, for Taurus. You've got the situation will improve, I should say so. Forgiveness, so moving forward without a hitch. Get more information. You might have to follow through, but be direct, but not too overbearing within the next few weeks, they say. And you've got a yes. Good things are on the way, Taurus. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.